What is up guys, it is Jeremiah, and today I'm bringing you a video that a lot of you guys have been requesting. I figured I might as well go ahead and make a video about it and help you guys out. So, a lot of you guys have been asking, how do you mod to this router? How do I install these mods? How do I do this? Well, hopefully this video can help you out, and after we do this video, hopefully you guys are enjoying the mods and we can talk about some of the mods that we've been playing. So, the first things you're going to need are the website that looks like this, which I'm going to put in the description below which has a list of all the known mods, right? The second thing you're gonna need is obviously Slay the Spire installed on your computer. Now, real quickly, I want you guys to take a look at this, right? And I want you guys to take a look at this. This right here is the Slay the Spire folder. Now, some of you guys may not know how to get there, so I'm gonna show you how to access the Slay the Spire folder and we'll come back to this. So you're gonna wanna go to Steam, click Library, scroll down to Slay the Spire, right-click Slay the Spire, click Properties. Once this thing comes up, go to Local Files, then click browse local files and this will take you to your slay the spire folder within the steam library right and this is just where you got to be the comments of the spire the screen is just fine we'll come back to this now what you guys are going to need is to hop over to this and you're going to need two things to get the mod working you're going to need base mod and mod of the spire so one thing you're going to go see here is mod base mod you click this you click base mod and you're going to notice there's two things. And at first this confused me, but here's where you got to download. You got to download the job. You're going to have to download the Java file, which is right here, the base mod. And you're going to have to download the zip, which is the source code. These two things you're going to download, right? So download those two things. We'll get back to that. Now, the second thing you're going to need is called Mod the Spire. And you're going to find that if you click up here, you're going to see Mod the Spire, right? So I want you to click this. And you're going to need to download two things. You're going to need to download the... Um, the, J the java the jar file the dot jar file i call it java but it's the dot jar file and you're gonna need to download this whole folder of uh, this spider so this right here is gonna be the folder but there's a better way to download this there uh, you can click this boom go download the latest release and here you are version 2.7 now this is going to be updated periodically just one thing you need to know about these mods is that they get outdated pretty quickly so keep track of this bookmark this page and as the new releases come out you can update and change your files but you go here you download the zip of mod the spire which is going to be the dot jar file and then the source code download these two things now you should have four files that you have now right so what i like to do is usually it goes to my download folder so i go right here in the bottom and i right click it and i say show in finder and it shows me this so what i like to do is i'll, I'll go here to my downloads i'll take the folder i'll cut it right and then I'll go back to where my Steam folder was, go to Slay the Spire, which is what you have to do. This is the first step that we did. And once you're on this page, I want you to right-click, paste. Boom, right? You paste this folder with the 2.7, and then you go back to Downloads or wherever you put it. And you also copy the .jar zip that you downloaded. For instance, there's a .jar like this. You're going to see this kind of icon. It's going to be an executable jar file. I don't have one right now downloaded, but you guys will have it downloaded. You take that as well. You bring it over to Slave Spire, right? And you should have this and that. Now, you don't have to keep these things here, but what I like to do is do this. I'll right-click it, and then I do extract here. Extract files here. Now, you may not have 7-zip. I recommend you download it, but if you don't, you just extract files here. It will create a folder called Mod the Spire 2.7, like this. You click it, you see this is the Mod the Spire folder. Just don't touch it, let it be. You want this to be in your Slay the Spire folder, right? So now I'll go ahead and delete this. Then with the .jar file, you're going to unzip it, and you're going to leave it, not in this folder, right? You're going to leave it in the Slay the Spire folder. So what you should have is Mod the Spire on the outside, and then a folder called Mod the Spire in your Slay the Spire folder. And then when you click this, it's going to be its own little thing, right? So you, the .jar file is going to be on the outside. My the Spire folder is going to be right here inside the Slay the Spire. Now, there's this, which is, I believe, is the older version. You don't have to worry about this. This is something I could probably delete. I'm just leaving them there for now. Unless that comes with Mod the Spire as well. I, it's been a while since I've done this one, so I'm sure it maybe creates two folders regardless. The concept is you want the dot jar on the outside, the folder here, right? Also, what you're going to want to do at this stage is create a folder in your Slay the Spire folder called Mods. So just create a folder, go right-click, New Folder, name it Mods. Now, for instance, I'm doing this for the video. It says Mods 332, whatever, but it's supposed to say Mods. Then you go to the Mod folder, boom. Now, remember that base mod thing I had you download? This is where you put base mods. So you're going to go back to where you downloaded it, take it, let's say I'll cut it, for instance. 
I'll go back to over here. We paste it here. All right. And then we're going to unzip it within this folder. Now, I already got the latest version. But basically, you guys are going to have the latest version as well. As you can see, I have it right here. I actually haven't deleted the zip, so it doesn't matter to have this. But you could delete this after the fact. Put the zip here, unzip it, and you're going to see base mod 2.15. And when you open this, it's going to have all this stuff, but that's just fine. You want this to be in the mod folder. And then you're going to take the .jar file that you took and put it on the outside. So the concept we have right now is .jar on the outside, uh, the folder right here. So that's just how it should look. Folder dot jar they have the construct dot jar on the outside custom climb dot jar on the outside now once you have these two things installed you go back to this uh, site you go back to the site and then you can choose whatever mod you want to add so if you want to add let's say lately I, I did the the witch you go to the witch you're gonna see the jit hub for the witch you click it and you're gonna see two things the dot jar and the zip the same thing that we just did so you're gonna put the dot jar on the outside and the zip you're going to unzip it within the mod folder so both of these things you take you come over here to the mod folder and you're going to see i actually have it right here the witch i unzipped it and made a folder boom and then we had the outside which is where the java is going to be the dot jar so you guys should see everything i have i have replay the spire always will mitch witch mod construct all these are on the outside and then all the folders corresponding to that are in this mod folder it's pretty simple right so once you have these mods installed in order to run them, you're going to have to do this. Let's delete this. You're going to go over here and double click mod the spire. This is the jar that you left within this latest spire folder. And there's a corresponding folder within this as well, right? You double click this and you guys are going to see this. I'll just do this for now. So you guys are going to see this. It's um, mod the spire 2.7. It opens this up. And one thing you need to note is that you can't have your Slave Spire in beta version, and it'll give you an alert if it's in beta. If it's if your Slave Spire is in beta, it's gonna tell you, oh, you got to opt out of beta. That's the same thing we just did. So if you guys are in beta, you probably know how to get out of beta. But what you do is go here, properties, beta, and then opt out of the beta programs, right? So once that's done, you go back over here, and then you just click what you want to have. So you always gotta have the mo base mod on because that's gonna help. I'm not you don't always have to get it on, but a lot of these things run off of base mod. So for instance, the construct works with base mod. You do this, got base mod, and you just check the things you want to do. And once you're doing that, you press play. It's going to do its little thing. And... A couple seconds later. A couple seconds later. A couple seconds. And voila! You should have... Uh-oh. There you go. Sorry, you should have the game running and modded. Now, right now, the, the capture is not working properly because it's... There you go. Perfect. This is what you should see. So then when you go here, you're going to see a little option called mods, and you're going to see all the mods that you installed. All the mods you installed. And then from there, you just play. And when you play, you're going to see the game's modded. So I hope that that helped you out in some way. Drop a like if it did, guys. Let me know if you have any trouble and any questions down in the comments. And I hope you guys enjoy the mods. Peace!